in this video, I will tell you five reasons as to why it makes sense to have the start and finish of the Paris Press Paris event in the city of Rambouillet rather than the city of Paris. When I heard about the Paris Press Paris for the first time and saw the initial event brochures, I initially assumed that the event would start in the city center of Paris and then go all the way out to the city of Brest and then return to the city center of Paris itself. I actually imagined that we would take part in some kind of Tour de France-like event. We would start in the shadow of the Eiffel Tower in the center of Paris and then ride a loop on the cobblestones of the Champs-Élysées past all the grand buildings and monuments and then head out west on Highway 12. All this with throngs of crowds urging us on as we disappeared into the darkness of the Parisian night. I imagined that we would stay at one of these posh hotels in the city, carboload at one of the beautiful French restaurants or street cafes. Because this is pure comfort. Buy some fancy cycling apparel at one of these grand departmental stores for the ride itself. This was my idealized, oversimplified and totally unrealistic expectation of what the Paris Press Paris event would actually be. While this is what it probably was in the early editions of the event from 1891 until just after the Second World War, having visited Paris as a cyclist for the first time in 2022 and having looked at the actual logistics of holding a race in the city of Paris, I now realize why it's virtually impossible for the organizers of the Paris Press Paris event to turn back the hands of time and offer the city center of Paris as the start finish venue for the 2022 event. Therefore, it makes sense to examine the city of Rambouillet to determine what makes it the ideal start finish venue for the 2023 Paris Press Paris event. The first reason that makes Rambouillet an ideal start finish venue for the event is that it's situated approximately 50 kilometers from the city center of Paris, but is still within the greater metropolitan boundaries. Therefore, the race is able to maintain its designation of starting and finishing in Paris, but also far away to avoid the logistical nightmare of riding through modern day Paris. Rambouillet, in association with a network of surrounding towns, offers accommodation, restaurants, cafes, multiple historical sites to meet the anticipated need of the 8,000 cyclists expected to participate in the 2023 event. I thought we were saying at Chateau de Rambouillet. Okay. But most specifically for the riders, it offers immediate and convenient access to a network of quiet rural roads and roads that lead swiftly from Rambouillet all the way to Brest. The second reason is that the city of Rambouillet has excellent public transport amenities. It can be accessed by both local French and international riders using the RER train system from Gary Montparnasse in the city of Paris. The Gary Montparnasse is a hub for international trains, buses and car rental agencies. I have created a separate video on the challenges and the excitement of, of traveling by train from Gary Montparnasse to the city of Rambouillet and I will place a link to that video in the description of this video. The third reason is the capacity of the city of Rambouillet to offer facilities for the registration and screening of the many thousands of cyclists that are anticipated to participate in the Paris Press Paris event in 2023. The registration and screening will take place at the Burgery National, which is itself on the outskirts of the city of Rambouillet. The Burgery National itself is a historical site and was commissioned by King Louis XVI in 1786. It survives as a national monument and a working farm and is home to the merino sheep of Rambouillet. 
is, and it's only once I looked at the map, is that that's going to be the registration site for the international riders. And that is going to be the, in, the registration site for the French riders. So there's going to be two separate registration areas where you can pick up your race packs and probably also do a bike check there as well. And both of them are on either side of the Pigeonnaires or Carbonier. The barns of, on either side of the pigeon breeding quarters were the registration sites for the French and international riders at the 2019 Paris Press Paris event. There are many interesting information plaques at the burgery itself that will give historical information about the function of the Colombier and its flanking granges that you will find when visiting the Burgery National for your registration for the Paris Press Paris event in 2023. The fourth reason that the city of Rambouillet is an ideal venue to host the start and finish of the Paris Press Paris 2023 event is that there are many historical sites to visit. These sites are sufficient to keep the cyclists and their supporters entertained on days that they are not resting to overcome the jet lag or cycling to stretch their legs and explore the French country roads. The most obvious tourist attraction is going to be the Chateau Ramboli, which has prominent pointed towers at each of its four corners. The Chateau is set in an immaculate garden with an intricate network of canals. A 20 minute visit of the Rococo and Neo Pompeian styled rooms is a must. Watch out for the specified times at which guides are available to guide you along this specific tour and provide you with interesting facts contained within the walls of the castle. Other attractions that you can explore on your own include the Church of St. Lubin with its dizzying spire built between 1868 and 1871. King of Rome's Palace, which was the official residence for Emperor Napoleon's son. The Hotel de Ville, which was bequeathed by Napoleon the Great to the city of Rambouillet in 1809. That's the city hall, municipal buildings. And yeah, if you need anything administrative done, you probably need to come to that. But I think it's just a really pretty building to come to. This is not to mention all the other interesting and beautiful attractions that you are able to visit in the neighboring towns and cities. The fifth and final reason as to why the city of Rambouillet is an appropriate start finish town for the 2023 Paris Press Paris event is that there is an efficient network of hotels, bed and breakfast and Airbnb facilities to accommodate the thousands of cyclists and their supporters anticipated to visit this region in the week leading up to the event and in the period immediately thereafter. So we've uh, just wrapped our bicycles, make it easier to take into the rooms as well as not have to worry about any grease getting on anything. So um, yeah, hopefully they, they're light enough to be able to just uh, carry into the hotel. Make no mistake that overcoming jet lag and adjusting to a new time zone will take time and patience. There is definitely no way to rush this process. And having the opportunity to sleep in a quiet, peaceful environment goes a long way to overcoming this hurdle. Not to mention the extreme sleep deprivation that is intrinsic to the Paris Press Paris event itself. You need to try to bank as much sleep as possible in anticipation of the event. So explore the various accommodation options available and make sure that you book well in advance. I will add a link to the tourist information site for the city of Rambouille in the description of this video, which may help you to find suitable accommodation. I hope that this video has reassured you that the city of Rambouille is an appropriate and really great place to host the start and finish of the Paris Press Paris 2023 event. I hope to meet you there and wish you everything of the best in your preparation for the 2023 event. Until the next time we meet, please stay safe.